Hey, what is going on YouTube? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today I'm be showing you how to actually reset your binary counter on your Samsung Galaxy S4. Now this does work on every Galaxy S4 except the GT i9 500. So this is going to work on the Galaxy S4 International GT i9 505, the LTE version, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, US Cellular, and all the Canadian variants as well. So it's going to work on just about every Galaxy S4 except the i9 500. Um, so far, Chainfire, the maker of Triangle Way app, that's the reset binary counter app we're going to be using, has an updated for the international i9 500. Uh, but hopefully within the week or in within a couple of maybe two weeks or three weeks, um, he should have it up. Um, he should have it supporting that. So this video is still going to apply if you do have an i9-500, but currently it's not supported. The app hasn't been updated for the i9-500. Uh, once, once he does update it, um, you can go and watch this video again and it'll be exact same steps. But currently it does not work on i9-500. Just be aware of that. And other thing to note is if you're on AT&T or Verizon, you have to have your bootloader unlocked, all right? So make sure your bootloader is unlocked. That's the only way this app is going to work. You have to have your bootloader unlocked for AT&T and Verizon because they come with locked bootloaders by stock. And of course, you need to be rooted because that's basically the only way how you actually trip the flash counter. So make sure you're rooted. AT&T and Verizon unlock the bootloader. And International i9-500 isn't supported yet, but hopefully soon it should be supported. Alright, so as long as we got that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and go to the internet. And here's the form where you actually be downloading the app. I'll have a link in the article down below. They'll be give a step by step guide with this link in the steps. So go ahead and scroll down and um, scroll down, scroll down. And right here, you can see the support devices. And I'll show you right here, real quick. Um, as you can see, um, International i9500 is right there. Uh, i9 or i905 is there, but not i9500 yet. And there's your uh, other ones right there. If you keep scrolling down, you can see right here, download from Play Store. That is not a free app. Uh, you can download it for about 250, but that is actually really helping out your developers. So if you do have some like, extra change on your in your pocket, go ahead and buy it from the Play Store. Um, it really helps out the developer. He does a fantastic job, and Chainfire is just a boss at this. All right, <laughs> he deserves a lot of credit for this stuff. He does a crazy amount of stuff. Um, so if you can't afford it, here is the free app right here. You can just download from the forum. So click on Triangle Way app, and it's automatically going to download to your device, and it's going to be end up in your downloads folder. Um, so if this is your first time actually downloading the app, first thing we need to do is go into Settings, go into More, Security, and make sure Unknown Sources is checkmarked. Make sure that is checkmarked. So once we got that done, you can go and slide down and tap on this. But let's say you tapped on it and it's gone. Uh, you can go into My Files. All files, device storage, and under download, it's going to be right here. <laughs> so I actually downloaded a couple times testing it out. <laughs> so as you can see, so just go and tap on it. You should only have one file. And tap on install. And uh, you can decline this from Google. And tap on open. And now it's going to ask for a super user request. Like I mentioned earlier, you must be rooted. So tap on remo rem uh, remember choice forever and allow. And now it closes it automatically. That's usual. And now go and open up uh, Triangle Way app. So right here, open it up. It's loading, making sure everything is good. And it says, please confirm your device is this exact model. So um, SGH M919, yes, so that's my T-Mobile Galaxy S4 model. Yours may differ uh, ver uh, depending on which Galaxy S4 you have. Go and tap on continue and OK and OK. And you can follow him on Google Plus and Twitter if you'd like. I recommend it. He's a great guy. And now on here, uh, on current status, it says counter 5. So that means you flashed a custom recovery or something uh, by Odin 5 times and it knows. So it set off the trigger and it says counter 5 times. Binary is custom and device is SGH M919. So what we're going to do on is uh, reset flash counter. Continue. Make sure you read this. It says important. Your device will reboot into download Odin mode. When you see the big green Android on the screen, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds to continue. And it says soft break. Uh, do not continue unless you are sure you are running on stock Samsung kernel. Um, so make sure you're running on stock Samsung kernel. As you saw by me, I was running on 100% stock, but just rooted. Um, so this will not work on Android uh, open source project. Make sure you're running on TouchWiz and stock. Um, if you don't know if you're running on uh, that, um, then just go and uh, ask the developer or go and see which custom RAM you're on. And if you still don't know, just go in and um, um, unroot your device and then root it on stack kernel. 
and then do this uh, binary counter. So make sure you are on a stack kernel or it's going to soft break your device or worse. So we're going to continue and now it's preparing it and it's going to shut down and enter into download mode <clears throat> and we're going to follow the directions. So this will just take a few seconds and we'll be done. And this is very, very easy to do. Um, it's just a simple volume up to actually reset it. So nothing very technical to do. And now it's entering into download mode all by itself automatically. Let me go and clean off my screen while it's doing that. All right, and now it's gonna enter into download mode. So it says downloading, do not turn off target. And what it says is to hold down the power button for about 10 seconds until the, uh, the screen turns off actually, and then it'll turn back on into binary counter, flash reset counter mode. Okay, now you can let go. It'll automatically turn on by itself. There you go, I follow the vibration. All right, there we go. Just give it a few seconds, and now we're on here. Booyah, all right. So now let me go and show you that. So it says Triangle Way app, uh, made by Chainfire. Support him, he's a great guy. Um, device, model, all that is good. And as you can see, flash counter is five, and binary uh, status is custom. Now it says press the volume up to reset the counter and status. And it says, uh, do not use a power button to reboot. Um, if you want to reboot, if you don't want to, uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, press the volume down and it'll reboot you. But if you want to keep going, which I recommend, you know, to reset the binary counter and all that, press the volume up to reset counter and status. So press the volume up and now it's resetting. Done. Uh, easy. So it says, um, press volume up to reboot normally and press volume down to go into download mode. So we're, I'm going to go into download mode just to confirm that it did work. So I just want to show you that it did work, and then we can actually reboot our device. So now it's going to automatically go into downloaded mode, and it will take a few seconds. Oh, it's actually done. Wow. Okay. So now I want to show you it. Ah, oh, yeah, it worked. So uh, hopefully you can see that it says Samsung official right there, so that is good. All right, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, it says Samsung official, and then it says official on the bottom right there. So let me go and read it really closely. Um, so what it says, it says current binary Samsung official and system status official. So now if you flash a custom recovery or a custom ROM or anything like that, Rudy device via Odin, it's going to say um, modified and like um, not official, something like that. Um, so now you have it. It's all 100% official. Now you can go and unroot your device if you are planning on rooting it. And you can go and send it back to Samsung after you unrooted it. Um, I'll have a guide right here on unrooting once I do upload it. Uh, but now we can go and press our power button and it will just reboot normally. So let's give it a few seconds just to show you. And sorry about the blurriness from the modified all that, so sorry about that guys. And now you can just press the power button again, it should turn on. And now your phone is gonna boot up just like normally, you're still gonna be rooted, but your re binary counter is gonna be reset to zero, and it's gonna look all official like Samsung. And if you're planning on returning it back to Samsung or your carrier, you can just go and unroot it and you'll be good. Um, so it's just reboot system now and we're done. So that's how you actually do it. You know, very easy to do. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner as that does really help me out a lot. And if you don't run into a problem with this video guide, go and follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And that's also, uh, that's the place where you can actually contact me for, um, if you run into problems with this guide. Um, but that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.